Ron, how are you feeling? How's the, uh, what kind of the mood in the locker room right now? Right now, but, um, by now, you know, everybody's, everybody's done watch the film. You know, we, we saw the mistakes we made, and we saw how we can get better. So we're not really worried about that anymore. We, we're, we're starting to move on to the next game now. You know, we don't have time to sit around and mope about a loss, you know, that, that we feel that we uh, easily could have won. So we just have to move on and uh, get ready for Wyoming. Did that pick feel like more important than a regular pick to you because they'd already taken an interception away from you guys because the play right before your pick, Sean was called for that, P.I. called it, and then you guys agreed with Um, I wouldn't say it, it felt any better. You know, it's, it's, it's always good to get, a, to get a turnover. You know, you work, you work hard all week, you know, with your, with your teammates trying to, trying to get the ultimate goal of winning. And, you know, to get a turnover, it, it just helps, uh, helps in that way. Last year when you and Phillip were both out, did you guys talk about this kind of stuff? Did you think that, you know, a little more than halfway through the season, you two have 10 interceptions combined? Uh, we didn't know an exact number, but uh, we talked about how we, how we wanted to we really wanted to really affect the, the takeaway market. You know, we both feel like we have the capability to get a lot of turnovers. And uh, especially in this defense and the scheme that we play in, it really allows us to, to uh, make plays out there on the field. How deflating were some of those penalties when you, you had the, you guys had the interception and it was taken away and then some of the, you know, hits were, were subjective. Uh, as, as a player though, how deflating is that when you see those things happen? Um, at the time, it's, it's it's really deflating. I say, you know, you get a you get a big player, you get a stop like like some of the ones that we had, and then just to see just to see it taken away by a penalty, you know, it's really deflating at the time. But on to the next play, and and you kind of forget about it. You know, like like I said before, you really don't have time to sit around and mope, or else the next play is going to be by you. So we just we just moved on from it and uh, kept playing. Were you guys getting frustrated, or maybe you personally, were you getting frustrated during the game when those things were happening? Uh, no, I wouldn't say frustrated, you know, with the penalty. You know, because uh, whether whether we felt like they were good calls or not, they were, they were still called by the refs, and, and we can't change that, so we just have to keep playing. And uh, you can't, can't just sit around and dwell on it. You know, we just got to keep playing and be smart about uh, the things we're doing on the field. Historically, uh, Caprizzi State's been a program that struggled to uh, bounce back from emotional losses like this. Uh, why do you feel like this team can do a better job of handling it that this time around? I feel it has to do with coming back home. You know, playing playing at home is a real is a real uh, upgrade for us. You know, we we like playing in our stadium, and having our own fans, and I feel the leadership that we have. I feel the leaders that we have uh, will really keep us will really keep us focused and not and not let us uh, sit around and 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 not take advantage of the opportunities that we have in this next game. What's the mood like with you guys as players on the defensive side of the ball losing Patrick Sua? Um, you know, you, you hate to lose any teammate, uh, especially especially one especially one like Patrick. You know, he's a, he's a great player for us. But you know, as a whole defense, we just got to step up. You know, everybody has to step up. Whoever's coming in uh, in replacement, you know, for for him being injured, is going to have to step up. And as a whole defense, we're going to have to step up and uh, just keep moving and go on and go on to the next game. What have you learned from uh, Tim McDonald in the short time you've been around him? Um, I say that we've learned a lot. You know, not not just me, but as a whole secondary. You know, just not not just in the scheme, but out, outside of the scheme. You know, what what else to look for? You know, reading keys, picking up tendencies, learning you know how to uh, how to take right angles, get to the ball, get the ball out. You know, every everything outside of just just uh, the X's and O's of football. You know, he's teaching us. You know trying to get us our instincts, you know, get our instincts up. And I, I think it's really helped a lot with us, the secondary. I feel like you have to win out to get a chunk of a conference championship here, you know, finish off and win everything else. Um, I guess so. You know, that's, that's our ultimate goal anyways, is to win every game. So whether whether that leads to a, a, a conference championship or a tie for a conference championship, you know, that's, that's our goal regardless to, right. to win the rest of our games. You know much about Wyoming's offense at this point. Uh, I don't know if you've had time to. Uh, not much. We'll we'll probably start watching the film on Wyoming uh, later on in the, the afternoon. I know that they they do tend to pass the ball a little bit more. So as a secondary, we're looking forward to that. You know, it's a it's a direct challenge to us to to stop the pass, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Uh, 
what are your thoughts on the defensive end, Andy James? Um, what do you think of him uh, leading the, being fifth in the Mountain West with a four and a half tackles or sacks? Excuse me. Uh, Andy is he's a, he's a great player. You know, he gets in there and uh, he causes havoc. He's he's always got his motor running, and, and that's that's what the coaches want from us. Um, and when he gets in there and he's getting sacks and tackles for loss, that just makes our job easier. If the quarterback is worried about him, you know, he's he's not having a, enough time to worry about where the secondary is at. So, with uh, Andy and the rest of the D line playing great, that just helps. That just helps the whole defense. Any other questions?